So there may be instances where you'll need to mount your smart port wiring harness farther away from the location of the controller. The remote controls work off of reception and in some instances you just might not get great reception where the controller is located. In this segment we'll show you how to connect up the SRR SCWH or shielded cable wiring harness from the controller to your remote smart port location. To extend the smart port harness, be sure to use special shielded cable, SRR SCWH, which can be ordered from your local distributor. Each shielded cable is 25 feet long. If you need to extend the smart port over the 25 foot roll length, you can connect two rolls together for a maximum of 50 feet. Remember, this cable is not direct burial cable. So when connecting the wiring harness to a residential controller, you want to verify that the power is turned off. You'll need to connect the red wire to AC1, the white wire to AC2, and the blue wire to the remote terminal. If you need to extend the smart port on the ACC controller, one option is to use the ACC ET adapter. Remove the back cover of the ACC ET adapter and here you'll find the terminal screws. Red, white, and blue pertains to the remote. That's where you'll put your smart port extension wires onto. Once attached, put the back cover back on with the two screws and affix the ACC ET adapter to the existing smart port. So as you can see here, we finished the extension of our smart port wiring harness receptacle. And once you're done using the remote control, in an outdoor environment, you want to make sure that you remove the receiver as the receiver is not waterproof. It will not want to be left out 24-7 outdoors. As well, return the rubber cover over top of the smart port. And now it's all buttoned up for future use. Thank you.